Hey guys, what is going on? Redmash here, and welcome back to the episode of Cards and Castles Draft Weekend. Of course, today working with the standard draft. Um, we're now one of the only two drafts available thanks to the disappearance of Hero Draft, I believe, yesterday. Um, so, I mean, not much really else to say other than let's just jump right into it, see what kind of deck we can get. So, let's just do it. All right, so we have Crusaders, Vikings, and Ninjas as our options here. Um, I guess I go with Crusaders. I mean, the other factions do have their own strengths, but I think Questing Knight, well, uh, Crusaders are going to do a little bit more for us in the end, especially with the healing. So Questing Knight, Blacksmith, uh, we'll take Monk as well to start us off here, a nice little 2-3-4 there. Take Jonviev, definitely a bit of a beefy tank and hard to deal with, especially in draft. Um, take Dwarven Archives. And then Horsemen as well, excuse me. Uh, Wraith, Green Drake, no, I'll go Wraith. Uh, oh, well actually no, Dino Rider. I was going to say, we might have to take Dancing Stars, but Dino Rider for the Dwarven Archives makes more sense here. Um, I guess we go, oh, Luminaris, we have Horseman and Jonviev, but, oh, and question, uh, I'm going to take Defiance here, I think we do a little bit more with Defiance, we'll take Judge as well, a little Inspire, I like that, um, do I go Church, yeah, I think I go Church here, because Church is going to be a nice, uh, constant heal for us. Um, we'll go, oh wow, uh, Sentry Golem, I guess, because that'll be a nice little Defiance play right there. Uh, we'll go Paladin, because the other options don't look that great. Uh, we'll take a Swordsman as well. Dancing Swords, ah, we could go, we could have gone Double Church, but, eh. Uh, we'll go Scout as well. Uh, do we, well, I'm gonna say, do we have any Legendaries? But yeah, we have Joan Viev, so. Um, Tunnel Escape, I think, is a good choice for, again, another way to synergize with the Dwarven Archives, like another Horseman. Um, I'm gonna go with another Inspire. Oh, what are these cards, dude? Uh, I'll take a Defiance, I guess. Uh, Crumbling, Tarius, or Green Drake? I guess I go Crumbling, maybe? I don't know, I don't find uh, the Green Drake gonna be all that useful to us, or at least I don't think. Um, I'm going to take Frog Prince, actually, in this scenario, because he could actually heal up some of these units, or at least, he'll be a heal up for Jonviev, and, uh, he has Resolve as well, so it doesn't hurt. Um, take Lumberjack, I guess, for a little bit of a nice draw there. I want to grab Mordok, because Mordok is a pain in the bat, uh, pain in the butt to deal with. Oh, and we're already in a match, so let me go ahead and just... Yeah, uh, transition. Alright, so Mordok going to sub out. Our two Inspires are in hand to start us out, which is really great. Going up against a fellow Crusader deck. Alright, that's not bad. Um, I don't think the Arbiter will be in his deck, although I'm not sure. Literally, you can see anything in draft, which is quite scary. Um, I'm going to take this time to Medallion to at least one of our Inspires. Oh, those aren't the cards I'm looking for. Uh, we have the question as a backup anyway, so not too bad. Um, Earth Knight, okay. How far are you going to push that? Are you going to push it all the way up, or are you going to be, uh, all the way up? Okay. Um, Questing Knight then. Be a slick trade there. Be a slick trade there. What else do you have, though? I mean, still going to take out the Questing Knight. So, but what should we do is probably the better question. See, they're gonna be a guardian. Oh, don't tell me. Okay, I'm about to say, don't sack that blacksmith. Um, I guess we can probably go with a bit of a berserker here. I want to say, see if maybe we can tempt something out, and then ha maybe we can actually even hit face with this because we do have a questing knight as well as a headless in my in our hand here. So whatever he throws out to block, maybe we can end up killing with the combination of questing and horsemen to allow Berserker to get some siege, uh, you know, uh, 
little siege ability going. Um, yeah, I mean, the blacksmith is alright. I was expecting him to honestly trade it, but smart not to waste that kind of blacksmith. It's not really worth it to kill the question anyway, seeing as how I'm not really threatening face damage with it. So, good play on his part. He is... Ooh. Uh-oh. Well, actually... Alright, that's probably something that he was going for. Okay. Um... Actually, wait... No, this is... Yeah, this is a building. So I can even... I can still... Despite giving him cards, I can do that. And now, voila, I'm a 5-4. And then, hell, we'll even snipe off the blacksmith with his... Uh, or with the horseman's ability there. Okay. So we're back in this. We're back in this. Or, I mean, we never really fell out of it. But the only downside is I gave him cards. Which is always rough. But, hey, if I get the 5-4 earlier... Than expected, and hell, if I could even put this on face even more, that would be great for us, because then he'll be okay. Well, actually, I'll, I'll get a barbarian trade out of it. I'm not, I'm not mad about that. Um, questing knight. We'll throw the guardian a bit more aggressively here. Place the horseman there, and then we'll probably reinforce our hand here with a bit of inspire. How's that Uber driver? <laughs> Oi, I'm in the middle of recording. <laughs> Hey. And knowing me, it's not really good to cut out time between matches. Eh, it might be. I don't know. Maybe something for the future. God, that's gonna be an awkward thing. You go over in the comments. Oh well. Courthouse and a monk. Ooh. I mean, the monk's good for a little healing on the castle. That courthouse, though is going to be a bit tricky. Well, I'm going to trade you there, obviously, because the courthouse don't really affect me at that. Uh, I guess what I'm going to do is push Scout Crumbling, I think. That might be the good idea here. Because, I mean, right now that courthouse is going to give me some decent problems. So I'm going to try and kind of snipe it off early. Uh, if I did have my... Mm, Uh-oh. Uh, I mean, we're still fine. Ooh, what well, we could even do. Ooh, I have an idea. I could have pushed this up further, but I'm going to chill out for a minute. Because I want to see what he's going to do. I have Defiance. I have Swordsman. Defiance makes the attack equal to the... Or the health, or no, makes the attack equal to what the health is, so, 7-7 seven, seven swordsman, not bad, problem is, this minotaur has a bit more health than I would like it to, yeah, alright, can he give me any more value though? Oh, damn. Uh, well, I mean, he has more gold. Yeah, this minotaur's really bothering me. Or at least the combination of courthouses. The combination of courthouses, yeah, that's bothering me. Oh, please put it right. Oh, damn it. Well, there's no point in threatening the crumbling archives, because that's gone. Uh, oh, can I please hit a desired target? Okay. That's that's fine. Um, makes me a bit sad inside, but other than that, we're still fine. Um, hmm. I guess I can throw out the questing knight, right? I gotta kind of, I had to face him head on here, even though right now we're not in the best position to do so. He's gonna want to get rid of this swordsman quickly. So, 
The question is, is he going to sack the Pegacorn to do so, to at least weaken it? Or are you going to play it safe and trade the Minotaur to questing? Pegacorn deals damage to horsemen, and you continue about your day. Oh, those are the two cards that he didn't want to give Resolve to. I mean, granted, Pegacorn with Resolve is a bit of a pain. But now he can also freely go ahead and take that as he, as he does. Yeah, but still, it's not a good position for you, is it? Because you get rid of the Resolve once you trade Minotaur. Unless you have the external damage, in which case, I say take it. And he clearly doesn't agree with me on that. Strange. Time's ticking. Yep, okay. So, I think we have to sacrifice our Mordok here. To pull off... Yeah, we could pull that off. Yep, we can just... Uh, forgot he still had his resolve. Shoot. And that courthouse does too. All right, so we're not gonna. I'm gonna open myself up here for a little bit of pegacorn damage. I don't care about it. We have the monk in hand to deal with it. My desire is for him to throw out a bit something, you know, some more aggressive things at us, seeing the moment of weakness. Um, although we can't really have much more to work with, right? All right, he'll cycle out a bit here with some draw. I can respect that. What do you do about the impending swordsman, though? Because, I mean, you can't let this on face. That's a simple fact. You bring out your own swordsman. Ah, you see, my friend, that is, that is a play. Although one that may not get you far because of a little thing called a defiance and we'll still be alive and we can afford to take that trade hopefully trading or, or I guess getting something else to trade with us is the key here that is what we want I mean the question is, is does he have something big enough to sacrifice I mean the lack of an immediate play tells me tells me that an arbiter exists okay didn't I say at like the beginning of this matchup something about Arbiter? Like how... Ugh, I don't even know. Paladin. Mastered Arms, but aggressively here. That'll be the play. My, his hand is telling me that he can't deal with both of these. And with our luck, we can probably push this Paladin on face and keep, let it have its resolve. Or, ma or Master can get there and buff anything else that we throw out on the board. Play as the Pegacorn. That's fine. Damn, this courthouse is really annoying. I mean, honestly, bro, just take it. I don't see the problem in, uh, you know, a little bit of damage here and there. Because it's not going to matter in the end? Question mark? I mean, you did run Crusaders, and you did waste that Arbiter pretty early. I mean, he could have afforded to take more damage, but... Uh, I can kind of see where he's coming from in that. Alright. There's... Hmm. Okay. That tells me i got to throw out the Joan Viev here. A little resolve action keeps her in the game. Without a lumberjack, and I still don't want to use my dwarven archives yet because I can get more out of it with this Dino Rider. So we'll see. He opted to leave my paladin alone, which is interesting. We'll see if that comes back to haunt him because now Joan Viev is still a three-four thanks to her resolve and armor. So let's see if we can push any damage. How are we looking on deck size, by the way? Because usually drafts always get you with the decks four to seven. So we actually have the advantage. We can actually draw out the game more in our favor. The question is, does he have the units to sustain this long game? Because he's got a total of 10 cards. I imagine in those 10 cards, he has to have some units. 
me. That's just my guess. If he didn't, if he doesn't have it in his hand, he has to try to draw for it. But I mean, oh, there's a swordsman. Okay. Interesting. So he played the big boy or a big boy in the form of swordsman. Okay, and the brewery. Hmm. Although I guess with that play, you're just asking me to. Oh. Ah. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I think I do that. I was gonna trade this anyway, but hey, if we give Joan, we have a bit extra life. That's I'm fine with that. And run frog prints up. So yep, his deck is thinning out ever so slightly here. Two more cards to his hand. We can we have five, so we're still good. Uh, I think the charge is still in our deck here, so we could probably try to draw that out sometime soon. Ooh, sometimes you gotta get that good finger crack. Ah. Uh, there it is. Oh. All right. Um, I mean, I think this might be the game here. I mean, Jovia doesn't have resolve, granted, but I don't know. What do you do here? What do you do? All right, a frog prince of his own. Doesn't do enough, though. And the church. Yeah, that's not going to be enough. Um, he... Okay. Did land on castle. Good for him. Although blacksmith exists, which is also good. Because that'll be the game. We'll do that. And we'll do that. Alright. So, not a bad game. Bit of a longer one drawn out to start off our uh, contest. But... Not too shabby overall. What happens when you face several Crusader decks? And off right. Oh, right into the next one. Damn. I can really feel the improved matchmaking times that happened over this, uh, the last day or two. I don't know when that... I mean, it was probably implemented last night, but still. You can really feel how fast these changes kind of come. This time going up against the Warlocks. We should have the matchup advantage, seeing as how damage that they deal... Or damage that they dealt from hand can be healed off. Um, but our hand isn't looking too spiffy, though. You know, the earliest unit we can play is a Scouter Blacksmith. That Golem draw, that's gonna be rough. Uh, okay. Questing Knight. Gonna chill, though, which is an interesting call. So, Outcomes Scout. I don't even know if that rhymes. Outcomes Scout. Yeah, kinda. Oof. Really? That's kind of interesting, though. Let's see you just take that trade. Um, yeah, I'm going to go with the Dancing Swords here. Because we can keep our Dancing Swords alive and put them as a target. And if he wants to do something bigger at it, we can always Horseman that down. Oh, hell, maybe if we can get lucky and keep our Swords around. Or get him to waste a Burn spell on it, which would be even nicer. Uh, hmm. Fire Drake was the last thing I expected, so I'm gonna throw out a judge. I mean, if we're just gonna trade units back and forth, it's gonna be a really interesting game. Alright, what's the next unit that's gonna come down and sacrifice itself? Because it's, you know, that's really looking like it's gonna be the case here. Because with. Judge, you have a 7 retaliation unit. And I'm pretty sure nothing in his hand can survive a 7 hit right now. I mean, that might be... Well, okay. Anything that's going to cost him... Ah, uh, Tunnel Escape. That's actually a d decent trade. But he had to push it, didn't he? Can I snipe the... Sweet. Awesome. I can get rid of the miner. Beautiful. Without losing the horseman. That's the... That's the note to take away from this. Uh, although our next moves aren't looking too shabby. I was hoping to maybe get that goal amount. I... Now, I'm not really angry or 
as to you know him playing that flame on the horseman but like utter confusion as to what are your other cards if that's the one that you're drafting just kind of food for thought all right let's get the golem out here he'll get a little free unit from his mate or free spell from that mage apprentice that's actually a big one in this case gathering ice is going to be a pain in the ass for me to combat if he uses it here the Mage Apprentice is going to be dead, I assure you, with the combination of Mordok. The question is, does he want to throw out the Gathering Ice now or kind of hold it in reserve? He's going to throw it out now. Which is... I mean, I guess it's the right thing to do. Oh, and a Sniper too. Alright. Um... Ooh. Uh, I think let's chill out a little. With a minor play or two. I think that's the right play. I'm setting up for a blaze here, which I don't think he has, but... Blaze isn't going to do that much to us, I think. Alright, he takes that. Oh, can that Mage Print just reach us? I wasn't... No, that shouldn't be able to reach us. No, 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 no. Well, that is a fairly aggressive Mage Apprentice, because that lines you up perfectly for a Mordok play. Oh! Um... Okay. Keeper's probably gonna block for that, right? Nope. Okay. Interesting, but I'm gonna summon the Mordok now. So Yeah, not not the best of times for our amigo here. Do that. Smack you. Lumberjack runs up. Alright, this should be close to the end of the game. I gave him the horseman. The horseman's probably going to be trading with our lumberjack. Nope, I was wrong. Pegacorn couldn't come out. Probably uh, trade with the Mordok then. Yep. Oh, Banshee. I got the low tier. Or the low roll, I should say. Horseman not hitting anything else. Also, some throwing it out to block. Um. Yeah, I think he's going to be a little upset about this. We'll throw the 8 8 golem on his face here. We'll do that for good measure, and that should end the game. Alright. Yep, there's a surrender. So, not bad in our second game. Uh, I mean, there were some questionable plays. I think pushing that, you know, pushing the range units. He had good leverage on us with that. Oh, damn. Win a thousand multiplayer matches. Hooray. Um, he did have some good. Uh, leverage on us, like I mentioned, with those range units, but obviously pushing them was going to be his downfall. Um, I think in his mind he was thinking, which one does he want to go for, the Mage Apprentice or the Sniper, but when you push the Mage Apprentice to where I could just summon something and trade with it, you know that's kind of not the right play to make. So, let's, see, let's go into match number three and hopefully collect the pack for the week. We'll end it off strong. Alright, and to start us off, I'm going to swap that Dino Rider. Even though I have the Dwarven Archives, that's not much better. I'm better off keeping the Dino Rider, damn it. Going up against Mono Druid. This should be interesting, seeing as how Druids are, you know, they have a small pool to choose from, which might make them that much more dangerous. So, we'll see. We'll see. Thinking Blacksmith's going to be our turn, our first play of the day here, which is going to be rough. Hey, the Defiances are killing me. Alright, he throws out the guards, which is fine. Okay, y you see, I didn't mean for you guys to uh, both come into my hand, because this is not what we need on this fine morning, evening, whenever I'm playing this. Alright, guard, hits me there. Anything else, maybe? Bear hog, injured Trent, okay. 
No oh, inspire. Can I pull what I need? No, I cannot. Cool. Uh Yeah, I'm going to throw out the Dwarven Archive just to kind of see what else I can cycle out here. I want to let, you know, a bit more damage come my way. I don't think it'll be monumental against seeing as how we now have the charge in our hand. We'll see what it does how to reinforce his board a little bit. And that really won't be much by the looks of it. I mean, questionable leaving that guard there and not letting the Trent come in to smack more. Hell, even more questionable just putting that tree there. Oh, Forest Revolt, that's why. I mean, still. Um. Oh. Yeah, it's going to be rough on my part, but I want to get rid of the trees, or at least clear off some of this stuff on my face. Obviously, guards are going to go to blacksmith, and that frees up the tree to clear out the master armor without dying itself, so. Although, we're not really seeing anything big out of now, which is a good sign. Um... I mean, I guess that could have been the other play, but still, uh... Unless he's got another forest of all which he wants to play. In that case, this is going to be a great opportunity for him to throw it down. Ah, he doesn't get it. Alright. Paladin. I guess we can trade there. Uh, yikes, 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 yikes. The rabbit's going to be slightly annoying, but... I mean... Yeah, my resolve kicks in. The question is, do you continue to... Wait, why didn't you gain attack from that? He Shouldn't he have gained the plus... That's weird. Unless resolve cancels that out, but resolve shouldn't flat out cancel... I don't know, that's weird. That's weird. Where's the rabbit running to, boy? I figure you might as well just run away with it. That's seed of regrowth. Yeah, why else would he just keep it there? Hmm. Yeah, there goes a the seed trap. Um... I guess we can do that. We can sit back for the turn. I don't mind. He's running out of resources here, though, in his hand, which might be a good sign for us. He's had a lot of tree synergy, but, like, where is that getting him, in a sense? It's actually be great for us, because what we can do here is we can bounce uh, the Mordok off of the Lumberjack he just played there. Um, Centaur feels a bit rushed, no? Yeah, I mean, I get the idea behind it, but still feels a bit rushed there in that regard. Uh, in that case, we'll do that. And follow up with that. Yeah, that was a good play. He obviously is going to want to get rid of this church here, but it's going to be harder and harder to do that as he gets ever so closer. What do you got for me? You're going to got, yep, good old retreat. Okay. I can respect that. I can also respect a little bit of this. Damn it. We 
We almost had him. Yeah, I'll see what I can do. The wolf's probably going to trade with the swords down there. Or it can just weaken the swordsman. Leaving the rabbit to get a little bit of a buff here. Does he have any more beasts to give that buff to, though, is the question. Bear, pack of wolves would be deadly here. Fenrir, maybe. Mm, okay, Fenrir. Uh, it can be... Uh, yeah, that actually might be a bit deadlier to us. Although you still have to proc Mordok, which I'm fine with. Mm -hmm. His best option is to trade with the swords down there, yep. Uh, does he hit my wraith is the question? Yeah, he does. Oh, he's going to leave my lumberjack to finish the job, though. I mean, I'll take it. Get rid of that for him. Uh, you can probably throw out our dino rider then. Plus scout, and we'll do a little pillage there to mess with him as well. Mess that gold count. So he's definitely running out of options at this point. And our church is actually back up to full health. Sneaking down there with its uh, from 1 to 4. Just like that. And the snap of a finger. It is restored. Uh, Alright, rally. Not going to do a whole lot unless you got an armory to boost them. Two of those peasants to trade to the scout. Yep. Mm-hmm. Why? Oh. Hmm. I guess. Still kind of works there, but... Eh. Not really the play I was thinking of with them. Can you pull a Sun City Guard? Nope. Thought we could pull the guards, but we can't. Oh well. Alright, so this game should be wrapped up pretty soon, actually. Uh, we still have some time before sudden death, and he's kind of working off the draw as of now. We still have a lot of resources in our hand. Ooh, Pegacorn. Where is, what is he going to do? Trade with the Dino Rider, that's fair. Can I actually play the last card? Ah, good old Forest Watch. Gonna try and put some extra pressure on us towards the later half of this game. Oh, not bad. Alright, can the draw help you here? Yes, no, maybe so. Horseman? Damages my church, okay. Not well, now Joan VF can disappear. But I'm gonna take I'm gonna take both his units down with me. Yep, and then here comes that. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. A little bit of this, a monk for good measure. And I think this should end the game. I mean, we'll see what he's got. Two cards. Ooh, call for aid. So we're going to be seeing a bit of ranger action. I mean, we know two of them exist, but the question is, can he play them or will he play them? Maybe that's that's the question of the day. I'm surprised he's not going to go with the scout because if he body blocked this, it's over. Yeah, it's over. And I'll show you how. First, we hit the scout onto castle. Our Frog Prince connects, we give a Defiance to our Monk here, and we give a Defiance to our Sentry Golem for the Game Ender. Alright, not bad, uh, very decently long matches here, at least with the first and the third match, uh, but overall, not bad. Uh, we'll go ahead and claim that reward. 
packs are always useful, and we'll get a Minotaur for our troubles too, which is not bad. But overall, I would say a pretty successful draft. Bit of a tougher one. Standards are usually a bit more difficult in the regards that you don't have a lot to work with, and sometimes what you're given is not really the best of cards. But hey, we managed to pull through it, and overall, again, I would say this is a successful draft weekend. With that being said, guys, if you did enjoy this edition of the Standard Draft, be sure to give the video a like, share with your friends, and of course, comment down below your thoughts on how these matches went, if I did anything wrong, or, you know, all that good stuff. Again, you can go ahead and point those out to me down in the comment section below. And while you're down there, if you haven't done so already, I think I said that twice, maybe, or at least tried to, be sure to hit that subscribe button to help show you support the channel and help us grow by clicking that subscribe button. I know what it should cost to you. So, that being said, guys, until next time, stay gaming.